Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo, and today we will be talking about the brand new Good Guardians. Now, Good Guardians used to be called Galaxy Labs. So if you guys remember, Galaxy Labs was basically a suite of different applications or different modules that gives you a bunch of different utilities for your phone. It's very similar to GoodLock, but GoodLock is a bunch of utilities and modules that would help basically customize your Samsung phone. Now inside of here, you might notice a few of these that could be redundant on what your phone could already do. But when you take a look at these ones and you actually play with them, you'll notice that it's just a completely different user interface. So maybe you might like these more than whatever is stock on the phone. And also some of these is able to go a little bit more in depth than what your normal stock Samsung is not. Not able to do. So Good Guardians is an application that you're able to download from the Galaxy Store. So all you'd have to do is go inside of the Galaxy Store, you'll search for Good Guardians, and you'll notice that it'll basically state on the very top, it used to be called Galaxy Labs. Now once you go through and you install this on your phone, what you're going to notice is you'll see one application called Good Guardians. Now within Good Guardians, you will have these different utilities or modules on the inside. There are six different applications. So when you go through and you download each and every one of these. So the first time that you take a look at this, you'll actually notice the little Galaxy Store emblem over here. When you tap on it, it'll have you download it. All of these have been updated on October 13th. So October 13th was when Good Guardians was launched. Now, once you have them all downloaded, again, the nice thing is that they are not, you know, little icons with inside of your application tray. They will all be sitting with inside Good Guardians, you open it back up and then you go inside and then now you're able to use any of these modules. Now the first one that we'll take a look at will be the battery tracker. So within battery tracker, this is a different way of viewing how your battery is being used. You know, if it's being used and then you're charging it, uh, the screen time, things like that. This is a way that you're able to notice what is taking up the most of your battery usage. You can also switch this over into active time if you wanna see what is being used the most. But if you go inside of that battery usage, let's say that my phone was on a little bit longer today, the battery would have been going down and then maybe Snapchat would have used a little bit more battery, but one of the things that you're mostly looking for inside of here is one that has a lot of background usage and not much active usage. So that just means that you're not really using it that much, but there is a lot going on in the background that is taking up your battery. So then you just simply put it to sleep. Now, anytime you put an application to sleep, all you'd have to do is just reopen it back up. Everything loads up pretty much almost instantly. And then this way you'd be able to be caught up with everything. Again, it's only mostly for the ones that you don't use much, but has a lot of battery background time, then you just want to just put it back to sleep. You're not going to hurt the application. Just open it back up and everything will load. Now, next up is going to be battery guardian. So this is a way that you're able to extend your battery life. So there's a bunch of different tools or things you can do that is inside of this battery guardian. So this is going to give this app power saving. So it'll optimize battery draining apps to extend your battery life. Then there's a couple things that is just a part of your phone itself. So for example, screen power saving. So you can just open this one up you can turn it on so then this way you'll be able to have a little bit of uh, power saving for your screen. You also have network power saving. The selected apps will not use 5G data network when mobile data usage is low. So you can choose which applications that you would like some of the network to not really push as much. So you're not really putting it to sleep. You just don't really want it to be used through the network. You know, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, that's going to be something different. And then you have this one here too, power saving during bedtime. So you can extend the battery life by automatically optimizing and limit performance during sleep. And then you just basically put a start and an end. And then what we're going to do is this very last one, extend battery life. So there's a bunch of things in here that's giving you examples or, or suggestions of what you're able to do. So I already have my dark mode turned on. It's letting me know that if I wanted to, uh, you know, optimize, it's going to change all of these check marks. So it's going to change my, my WQHD plus, you know, display down to full HD plus, which will be able to extend a little bit of battery life. It'll change my motion smoothness down to 60 Hertz refresh rate. You know, I already have my brightness on adaptive. My my uh, always on display is already off. My video brightness is normal. Eye comfort shield is on. Uh, here's screen timeout. Mine's automatically already at five minutes. It's letting me know if you put it down to two minutes, it's going to save you a little bit of battery life. And then here's that Samsung keyboard sound and the Wi-Fi power saving mode. So if you hit on optimize now, it'll actually do all of those check marks for you. So a lot of really cool small tools you're able to use inside of Battery Guardian. Now next up will be the Galaxy App Booster. So this is a way that you're able to pretty much 
search, optimize your Samsung phone. And this is not just doing those, those on the surface applications. Some of those applications that you just got done recently doing, this will actually optimize every single thing. And I did this one about 21 hours ago. And that's how I know that it's very, very in depth. It'll improve my performance by 5%, which last time it said that it would perform it or uh, improve it by 15%. And so that means that I'm, I'm still saving about 10% of what was from before. So, uh, you know, uh, to state it again, if I do it one more time, it'll, it'll up my performance by 5%. But because I did it about 21 hours ago, at that point, it said 15. So I'm going to show you just an example. You can see it's doing a lot of services. It's a lot of the things that you never would do, you know, customization, uh, customization service, you have double, uh, I mean, you got all this stuff going on, all of these little things, all these utilities as well. Uh, this is also going pretty fast just because I did it about 21 hours ago. So this one does take a little bit longer than normal. Now this is very similar if you go inside of your device care and with inside of device care, you hit on optimize. Now, again, it's not doing the full entire phone and you know that because it'll be done within about, you know, 10 seconds or so. This one's going to take just a couple minutes. Uh, again, doing a lot of services, a lot of stuff in the background that you would never think to do or even visibly see on the surface. So I'm going to let this finish out and then we're going to move on to the next one. It's not the Galaxy App Booster is done and complete. You're able to just go into any application you want to. Everything is all boosted up. Everything is looking good. Your phone should go a little bit quicker. Uh, now we're going to go inside of that Thermal Guardian. Now inside of the Thermal Guardian, you can take a look at your threshold for heat. You can also take a look at your CPU usage. You can notice when you are charging your phone and all of these high points that are right there is me having my phone plugged in as well as the screen turned on because there's a game that was playing pretty much in the foreground called Zen Idol. I'm just collecting a whole bunch of points, but that is why it was super high and above this little line right here. Usually it's always down here. And even right now you can notice with the screen on, shooting a YouTube video, using the phone, it's just sitting as normal. Uh, again, it's not super, super hot. And if it actually gets up to that hotness, you can even change your thermal threshold. So you can turn it up just a little bit more if you want to. And then some of the additional settings. So you can apply this if you want to. And when you hit on apply, it'll limit the CPU boosting when heating. Uh, also when it's heating, it'll decrease the maximum brightness. Uh, it'll also turn off that, uh, or it'll go into that standard motion smoothness if it is getting hot. And then they can also turn off 5G if the data usage is low when the screen is on. So there's a few things you can turn on with the Thermal Guardian. Now go ahead inside of the memory guardian you're able to free up some of your memory so right now it can clean 4.08 gigs uh, and you can go through you can take a look at what it's doing uh, this is just a way that you're able to monitor what's going on you can also take a look at your history so this is that line up there that you don't want to have everything add up to meaning you know up here is everything available you don't want that small little portion up there to be available because then your phone is going to run super slow if you're noticing that your phone is really slow very sluggish more than likely everything combined is up at that line right there which is pretty much 80 percent we're talking about cached we're talking about running and we're talking about everything on the system so everything is kind of all broken down that you can take a look at and then you can also customize some things so you can do quick switching mode you can also do speed up to uh, top app mode so the quick switching mode means uh, keep more apps in the background when using the previously used app again it is more likely to run with the last state of the app not starting from the beginning and you can speed up top app mode as well so i'm going to keep it as default uh, but there is a few things you are able to change. The only thing is that if you go to this one right here, it's probably going to have more cached data, uh, which is going to be this blue. So you're going to notice it going up just a little bit because it's going to have more cached. So you can monitor it and then now you can just hit on clean now. So this one is very similar to just going into the device care and doing the optimize of the device as well or cleaning, you know, in terms of the memory and the cache. Um, but you do have uh, additional screens, a couple settings to go along with it. So again, it's just a more advanced UI when it comes down to that. Then here is your media file guardian. So this is one that I noticed that I don't really use too much. I probably don't really need it. You can scan media files. There are some temporary files in here. So if there's anything that's temp, you'd be able to go through and you can clear it. So this way, uh, you're not going to have just additional, you know, pictures or uh, things lying around. And then these two categories here, you have original files for edited versions and then missing the date. So I don't really care too much about missing dates. Uh, but when you take a look at this one over here, I don't really know exactly what it's trying to do. It's just letting you know that these are the original files for edited version. Uh, click the file to check the edited file. So I believe possibly you're able to, you know, re-download this one or maybe save it as new. So this way, 
way. It's going to uh, get rid of one and then keep the other. So then this way you don't have basically two images of the same. So maybe some of these were shared on possibly Instagram and then it kind of has it in that other folder. You know, if you guys uh, are uh, familiar with that. So sometimes when you share something on Instagram, it kind of crops it in there a little bit or you can change colors. It saves it as a second. So I believe that's one of those options there. But that is it for today's video. We covered all of the different modules. These are different utilities to make your phone run a little bit better, a little bit faster, getting a little bit of boosting in there. You have battery uh, tracker, battery guardian, the Galaxy app booster, thermal guardian, memory guardian, and media file guardian. And now your phone can do the majority of all of these things stock. But if you want to have it go a little bit more in depth, as you, as you have seen here, it can do a little bit more than what the normal stock stuff is able to do. Or if you just want to have a different user interface, because there's a little bit more screens, a little bit more details you're able to take a look at, then you might as well go through, download Good Guardians, and take a look at all these different utilities, all of these modules inside of this one application. Again, very, very similar to the Samsung Goodlock, where Goodlock has a bunch of modules you're able to use that would be able to customize and redesign your phone. So it looks like that there's a lot of changes here, a lot of updates for me to do. Actually, they even updated Goodlock as well to let you know what is new, uh, and it gives you a lot of the details when you have that download button. So that's actually pretty cool too. So it looks like Goodlock has a little bit of a facelift as well. Uh, a couple different tabs you'd be able to take a look at. So again, it, it's, it's one application that has a bunch of different modules inside. It's actually very cool. If you guys appreciated this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,